Why are teeth important? Teeth help us eat. Teeth help us talk. Teeth are a part of who we are. Smile! We have two sets of teeth. First are our baby teeth. These teeth are meant to get loose and fall out. Next come our permanent teeth, or sometimes called our adult teeth. These teeth can last you your whole life as long as you do a good job taking care of them. Now, just because baby teeth are supposed to get loose and fall out doesn't mean they aren't important. Baby teeth have four important jobs. They help us eat, talk, smile, and they hold space in our mouth so that those permanent adult teeth have room to grow in after our baby teeth fall out. If we have a baby tooth that we lose too soon, that might cause problems for our adult teeth to grow in later. We have four different types of teeth in our mouth. First are our incisors. They are the front four teeth in our mouth on the top and the bottom. The incisors help us with biting into foods. We use our incisors to bite into things like apples and sandwiches. Our canines are next to our incisors. These teeth are used for biting and tearing. After our canines are our premolars and molars. These teeth are used for chewing up our food after we've taken those bites out of it. It's important to remember that our teeth are a living part of our body. There's a strong, hard outside layer called the enamel. Under that is the dentin, which is a little softer layer and inside of that is the pulp cavity, where the nerves and blood vessels are. There are five important things you can do to take care of your teeth. Brush two times a day for two minutes each time. Floss one time a day. Eat healthy foods. Drink lots of water. And visit the dentist two times a year for a checkup. You can keep cavities away. Why do we need to brush our teeth? Let's take a closer look. Germs are everywhere. There are germs that live in your mouth. Some are helpful and some can hurt your teeth. Germs have many names like bacteria, plaque, and sometimes they are called sugar bugs. Beware of the acid attack. The bacteria that stick to our teeth take the foods that we eat and drink and they create acid with it. These germs love sugary, sweet foods and drinks, and foods with carbohydrates like chips and crackers. The more of these things we eat, the more acid will be on our teeth. The acid, when it sits on our strong, healthy teeth, softens and weakens them, and that's how we get cavities. Brush at least two times a day. In the morning, after you wake up, and again at night before you go to bed. Brush for at least two minutes each time you brush. Brush in a circular way. Use tiny, gentle circles when you're brushing your teeth. Remember, you only need a little bit of toothpaste on your toothbrush. Don't forget to brush your tongue, too. Our tongue holds on to germs that can make our breath smelly, so we want to make sure we brush our tongue so we have a fresh, clean mouth. Floss at least one time a day. Brushing doesn't get the food and germs that get stuck between your teeth. We need to floss at least once a day to make sure that we are removing those germs and food that are hiding between our teeth. You can use floss that wraps around your finger like a string or you can use flossers that you hold in your hand. This presentation shows the importance of brushing and flossing our teeth. This mega block represents our teeth and gums. I have bits of Play-Doh. Orange Play-Doh will represent the germs that stick to our teeth. These germs can be called bacteria. Sometimes they're called sugar bugs. 
plaque is a group of these germs that get together and plaque sticks to our teeth and does not come off of our teeth until we brush and floss it away. Plaque takes the food that it finds in our mouth after we eat and drink things and plaque loves sugary sweet foods so these food particles hide everywhere in our mouth as well and when the plaque eats those food particles up it makes acid with them. Acid when it sits for on our teeth for a long time can cause cavities. So we want to make sure that we are removing the food particles and plaque from our teeth daily. When we brush, we want to brush for at least two minutes. We're going to brush in tiny circles. We want to tilt our toothbrush down towards the gum line. When we brush, we're going to jiggle those germs off of our teeth. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Do the inside. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Brush your chewing surface. Circular motions jiggle 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 those germs off your teeth and as you can see when I'm finished brushing there is still food and germs left between our teeth this is why it is so important to floss our teeth many dentists recommend that children use flossers instead of the string floss because it's much easier to get the flosser and hold the flosser in between your teeth whereas the string floss you have to wrap it around and reach way in the back when we floss, I have a flosser here that has some black floss on it to help you see it against my white teeth. The flosser, when we floss, we want to push that flosser up against those teeth so it hugs the tooth. We're not just putting it down in here and going up and down. We actually want to hug that tooth. Wipe that floss against the side of that tooth. Take those germs out of there. And then to get this other chewing surface, we're going to, I mean, in between our teeth we're going to wipe that floss hug against the tooth again pull towards your tooth wipe that out of there clean your flosser between each tooth so that you know you're getting food and plaque away from your teeth and you're not sticking it back in between your teeth so you want to clean that off and then continue flossing until it is clean in that area you want to make sure that you are cleaning all of the food and plaque out of there so clean in between each set of teeth. There's some more food or germs. So we want to make sure that we are cleaning that out of there and cleaning our flosser off each time we clean. So once we have cleaned between all of our teeth, you can see that now our teeth are clean. This is why it is important to brush and floss every day.